Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, make your use of the multi-channel funnels reports in Google Analytics that much, bit, uh, that much better. Here we are on the overview report of a test site and the path, the report that I find most interesting from this point of view is the thing called top conversion paths. So let's give that a click and as we can see this is using groupings such as organic search or referral or if there was any but there isn't this is a test site paid search now the thing that I'm interested to explore with you is this feature called basically the ability to create a custom channel grouping or even better still a simpler way of doing it is to copy a basic channel grouping template so give that one a click and this is basically showing you that, uh, that it's made a slightly like treating that original basic channel grouping as they call it as a template so we'll call this one something else. Okay, there we are, generic versus brand. An important thing to bear in mind about these label rules, as they call them, is that they are applied in descending order. So you can use them as a sort of filtering process. So something that isn't caught by one will pass on to the next one, and so on. I'll show you what I mean. So we've got this one called paid advertising. Now, before just before I do that, I need to remind you of the concept of brand keywords. What we're talking about here are the keywords that somebody uses to visit your site when they actually already know about you. They might be your company name and they may be products uh, that you do. I've written about this in a blog post here which explains how to work with the keywords reports in Google Analytics to work out what your brand terms are and to build up what we call a regular expression which contains them uh, and the key to a regular expression here is this strange character there which is uh, called the pipe and it's a little vertical vertical line on your keyboard, so keyboard sometimes it's a broken vertical line now what I would suggest you do with that is that you copy it and paste it into some kind of document such as this one that I have here where you store it permanently your list of what your brand terms are so you can always copy them and paste them at will now let's go back to the top conversion paths editing that we were doing and let's use that list of keywords. So here we've got the standard channel grouping called paid advertising. This is a, a rule within that grouping. So let's edit the paid advertising and call it something else. So we'll call it brand paid advertising. As we can see the way this is set up is it's saying include everything where the medium matches a regular expression. There's another one. Uh, this is the medium the a regular expression which Google used to choose what is paid search. So we can now add an add statement, and this being Google, if you're adding th working in this interface, it's always great to use search. So we're looking for keyword, there it is. Keyword includes containing, again, we're going to swap this over to matching regular expression and paste in the regular expression that we built up for our brand terms. And then we hit save. Now we're going to need to do a similar rule, create a new rule, which just matches the, um, it's basically the, the, the same, you could have done this by creating a new rule and moving them around, that might have been simpler, I'm not quite sure the logic of this, uh, the best, most efficient way of doing this is. So in this case, I'm going to copy and paste, copy that regular expression that Google used for paid search. So I just copy that, cancel, I'm going to add a new rule, and we will just call this generic paid advertising. Okay, now we're going to change that so it's medium matches the regular expression, paste that new regular expression in. in. All right, so we paste that in and now let's choose a colour. Um, paid advertising all seems to be blue, so let's follow the connect convention and hit save. Now for the sake of neatness, as I said, these all apply in order, so that's going to catch anything that is paid advertising and contains the brand keyword. So let's have this next. So anything that's paid and makes it through but is paid is not brand, but it is generic, so it'll be caught by that one. Let's repeat the same thing with the organic search, and we're going to call that brand organic search. So we can see this is done by medium exactly matching organic, add an and statement, keyword and get our list of brand keywords again include keyword matching regular expression paste that in hit save and again we're going to need to make a new one 
so we're going to have to have generic organic search and this one's nice and simple include it where the medium exactly matching organic color scheme for these appears to be green so let's go with that connection convention hit save for the sake of neatness as long as you know, move it up to the top so that we do up high whoops let's get up so we can do this Again, be sure that it follows on after the brand. So the brand will pick out organic search that matches brand, needing any other form of organic to show up there. And that is basically that. Don't forget to hit save. And we now have this new version here. Now there is a snag here, of course, um, which is that those were made up brand names, uh, brand terms. They don't actually match here. So we've actually made a complete mockery of this particular report. But I think you should get the picture and you can see it in some in the blog post that accompanies this video. You can see an example of what it actually looks like.